Well, hello. Um, I'm back again. You had a, a guest the other day who did a wonderful job on his Danish. Today, I'm going to be making a cold cucumber soup. Um, in here, I have a triple batch. So you're going to need, for a single batch, two large cucumbers peeled and diced, uh, one cup of plain yogurt, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, uh, one green onion coarsely chopped, two teaspoons, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of fresh dill coarsely chopped and uh, two tablespoons of parsley coarsely chopped, plus enough water to make it the consistency you want. So, and salt to taste. So I'm gonna put this into my Vitamix. It all goes into a blender. If you don't have a Vitamix, and you, if you know a blender, use the food processor. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna just do part of this because I've got enough for a triple batch here. So don't go by the consistency that I'm giving you. I'm gonna, because I'll have to blend some more in there. And I'm gonna put part of the lemon juice in and I'll put part of the uh, Dijon mustard. I'll put enough for two in there. Okay. And I am going to take the cover. I'm gonna blend it first and then I'm gonna see how much water I need. So it's gonna get loud, sorry. Oh. Helps if I plug it in, huh? It's Friday. It's been a long, hot week, so. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm going to have to put a little bit of the water in because the yogurt, I should probably should have put the yogurt in first. So I'm going to put in like about a half a cup to start. Like that consistency I'm gonna pour it into a bowl so you can see what it looks like um, because I'm making a triple batch it makes it a little different but you could probably even cut back on the water but it's a cold soup and you're gonna let it sit overnight anyway but that's what it comes out like and it's so easy to make and everybody's got cucumbers this time of the year I have about a bushel and a half down my basement right now that I have to do something with so you're getting cucumber soup tonight um, I'm going to finish making this and put it all together in one batch, and that should start to thicken it up. But put it overnight and just have it tomorrow cold with a little bit of fresh parsley or a fresh dill on top of it, and just enjoy. Have a nice, cool weekend. Take care.